Hi, welcome back. Uh, in the last part, we cut the horn down and uh, boiled it and put it in a press, and it's now been squeezed up. And you can see that it's now it's flat, uh, but uh, there's still quite a lot of work to do before we get anywhere near shaping this. Now, I've marked off the end there, and we need to remove this this bead here. Uh, what I'm going to do is grind all this and try and remove what material I don't want. Um, we've got a, a bit of a bead there which I really want to uh, remove and try and get this horn into uh, a reasonable amount of, uh, should we say, a reasonable shape where we can start um, squeezing it up. I haven't got any blocks to hand. What we're going to do, we're going to use blocks like this, there'll be two. Uh, one on top and one underneath. We're going to squeeze the horn um, in between these blocks in the press. And the idea is to try and compress the horn all the way around as much as possible. Um, and the real reason for doing this, especially with these big horns, is that running through uh, a ram's horn, on the whole, uh, you get a white material which is soft. And um, it's, if, you, if you break through this top layer of horn, and you, you get into the white, it's not something you can polish up or anything. So what we really want to do is keep as much of uh, the surrounding horn, um, uh, work that, compress it, compress the inner white, and then we can use this harder horn on the outside to, to polish up nicely when we're finished. So that's the main reason really for squeezing up, is to compress the white. Um, otherwise we could just use, uh, treat this as a piece of timber and chop it up, get it to the size we want and, and, and bend it, but you can't do that with uh, most of these horns. On the small Welsh mountain horns, um, on the whole you don't need to do that, they're already of a size where you can clean them up and heat them and put them on a, um, a jig to get the shape you want, but with these there's a lot more work involved. So we're going to do a little bit of grinding on this and uh, then we'll come right back. Right, we've given this horn a bit of a grinding, you can see there's a, a wee bit of a difference now. Um, we've taken this bead out here with uh, the Fordham and uh, uh, an abrasive uh, cylinder. Now you can see, you may be able to see in this light, the wee bit of white there, that's probably going to be uh, filed out during the process. But that's the soft material that runs through the rest of the horn. Uh, you never know what quantity it's going to be in but uh, it'll be there. So the shape now, um, we've got a flat on this side and a, a wee bit of concave here and we've got to be a wee bit careful now as we heat up that um, we actually get, let's say, um, an oval cross section. We don't allow anything to fold over on itself um, and become a problem. Um, so as I say, we'll see how we go. Now, let me say at this point, I'm no expert on Ramson. I've done a lot of Ramson in my life, but I'm still no expert on it. And there may well be other stick makers who disagree with the way I'm working. Well, this is the way I've always done it. Uh, this is the way I've learnt. Every horn is different. Your, your approach to every horn has to be different because no two horns are the same. Uh, but this will give you, you know, especially those that are um, uneducated as far as stick making is concerned, a general idea of what we're going to do. So um, we could start at this end squeezing up or we could start at this end. Um, normally people will start at this, this, this thick end and we're going to heat that up. Uh, it's not a very, very sort of deep hole in there but we'll probably put a peg or a pin or something in there to um, support the size and try and squeeze up. And we're going to do maybe an inch at a time. So it's a lot of heating, a lot of squeezing, a lot of movement through the jig. Um, so once we get everything set up We'll come right back to you. Right, I think you can see uh, the general idea here. Um, we've got uh, two well, shells at the top, and just that fits uh, into it. Um, 
the horn is heated right between those two you've got to uh, pressurize the uh, the bottom shell let's call it and so squeeze the horn up and while you're doing that heat the next section pull the horn through by an, about an inch or so and squeeze that up so I'm just going to heat this section up now and then we're going to see whether uh, uh, this drift will be big enough or whether we go and get a piece of uh, scrap hazel and pop it in there just to uh, I'm sure that it won't collapse but just to stop it from collapsing so we'll heat that we'll get ready and once we're ready for squeezing this first section up we'll come back Ok we've heated the horn up, uh, pop this drift in, I've already got the horn um, in the press and I'm just squeezing up, I just want to see whether this drift is going to be big enough or not or whether I need to do something different um, it doesn't look too bad, so I think we'll just go with that so the idea now is to heat this back end and then keep feeding the horn through it's a, a slow process, but um, to say, not something you should rush uh, because you really want your horn nice and hot, otherwise you're going to tear it. You might tear it anyway, uh, depending on um, the sharpness of your blocks. You need to have those a bit radius. So we'll be back again in one moment. So while that first section has been pressed, I'm heating the next part and I'm using two guns to speed up uh, the process. Um, we won't make the sink through all this, but uh, as I say, as long as you've got the general idea and you understand what's going on, that'll be good enough. So we'll carry on heating this and we'll be back once we've made uh, a wee bit of progress. Right, so you can see that we've just fed that horn through a wee bit, we've heated the back end up and uh, brought that forward and we're going to just squeeze up a bit more now. I'm not going to do too much squeezing to start with uh, because I can always put this through again with uh, different sized shells but uh, the first thing really is just to sort of try and get a round section here uh, for, the, um, for what we call the neck. So we'll carry on and we'll be right back. Okay, we've heated a bit more, we've uh, moved the horn through. Uh, a lot of people might say, how do you know when the horn's ready for moving through? So really the, the ideal way is, once your, heart, your horn is flexible like that, it moves about, um, you can be, it's ready to, to put through for another half inch or inch and squeeze up again. And if you stick to that sort of um, flexibility, uh, you should be okay. Right, you can see there that we're, we're slowly making progress and feeding this horn through. So we'll carry on and keep coming back. Right, so you can see what's happening now. We're, we're squeezing up, we've got so far, and we've changed that sort of flattish cross section to a more rounded one. Uh, we've got these ridges, but that's part of the, the bottom shell um, digging in. So that'll be ground off. Um, I want us to make this hole just a little bit bigger here because uh, we have got a, a tiny little crease in there. I want to get rid of that and then we'll perhaps squeeze up again on that. All this hole wants um, cleaning up a bit and um, we'll see how it progresses. So far we're going okay, but when we get to this area here, um, I don't know whether things will change. We might have to go from this uh, down to a vice. But um, for now, what we're going to do is clean that area up and um, just have a look at this hole and see if we can squeeze that up a bit more. Okay. Right, what we've done now is just clean that hole out a little bit and I've actually found that hole goes a lot deeper than I thought. There was a membrane on the inside and it looked as though it was solid horn, which it wasn't. So just trying to clean that hole out a wee bit, trying to get rid of that cre um, crease that's in there. I made myself a, a plug out of Ram's horn and just drill the sensor um, heated up, squeezed up. We're going to keep drilling that and heating up and squeezing until hopefully we can close that hole up and hopefully it'll be all solid horn all the way around. So that's what we're doing at the moment.
Right, so you can see after a couple of changes of shelves, this is the third set I put in here, and they're somewhat smaller than what we started with. Um, heating, drilling and squeezing up. We've got that original um, horn down to this thickness. I'm going to leave this for a bit. I want it to uh, cool and set at that. And then what I'm going to do after that is um, heat it again uh, for about four or five inches. And then we're going to use these shells, which were clamped together. And they'll go on this bottom section of the, um, the horn. And that'll create the handle bit. So what we'll be squeezing up is, is this area here. Um, once we've done that, um, we'll see where we're going from there. Depends on how the horn's working. We might carry on with this jig, or we might go into um, a vise that we have down here. So you can pan around. And what we do on this one, we have a dolly on the back jaws. And we have a slightly concave plate on the back and the horn works in between those two and um, slowly we should squeeze our horn up and the thing with some of these horns is that um, obviously when they get to this thinner uh, um, section they're not oval in um, cross section they're flat on one side and slightly concaved on the other and they don't always want to squeeze up the way we want them to squeeze up so if I put them through this vise I can normally um, just about govern how I'm going to squeeze that horn up it doesn't always work and they're not all successful um, but uh, I think it's a bit more versatile than putting it through these shells so we're going to leave it at that and um, we'll come back when that's cold Right, that's uh, cold now, and we brought it out just to show you sort of how much you can actually squeeze this horn up. What we're going to do now is leave it, it's uh, late in the day, but tomorrow we're going to do the rest of that, and then, as I say, uh, that'll be ready then for um, these straight shells, and uh, we'll form the beginning of uh, the, the neck of the handle there. And then we've got the rest of the horn to work on, and um, as I say, we'll see how we go. So that's it for now, folks, and um, we'll be back soon.